Hi, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is the reading for Pisces for the week 13 till the 19th, July 2020 and um, I hope you have enjoyed your week and I hope you're all well. I'm doing my nine card spread again and if you are a, 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 a follower, a cyber angel, then uh, thank you very much for your likes. You came in first Pisces and you have beaten Gemini and <laughs> I think it's quite funny because Brenda at Brenda Tarot Readings in the Geminis are first and Pisces second. So there is, a, I love that when the way it goes and I do uh, collaborate and work together with Brenda from time to time and do have a look at her channel but if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me then please look at the uh, uh, below the video in the description box and there you will find all the information or click in the white circle in the um, right hand corner of the screen then it will take you to my website and there you can see all the readings available and I do go live three times a week and because I have heard from viewers <coughs> that they're not getting notified I put out notifications a couple of hours before in a community tab YouTube Instagram and Facebook so please join me on Monday Wednesday or Friday or all evenings you're all more than welcome now let's get started this is the querent card or the overall energy Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and of course the four corner cards uh, very uh, confirming or clarifying the three cards around it and it works both ways vice versa and for the new people welcome please subscribe and hit the bell uh, on all then you should be notified okay and I'm, I've got an other deck that's the white witches deck and I'm just taking this um, as a message um, an extra loose message uh, because I love the deck and it just might just clarify extra what the reading is about um, and Archangel Michael a, a protection card or a, t a suggestion card food for thought and an answer of the angels so let's get started Pisces and welcome I really feel honored that you've liked all the videos so much it's great thank you very much and you've got the six of wands so victory is yours you are moving onwards and upwards you might be journey j going on a journey this could be for business or this could be for holidays you might buy that new car if you've had an, your eye on a car it could be yours you might you've got public recognition and you've got also recognition perhaps from your employer um, or your business uh, it might be recognized got recognition and you're getting more clients and so you're getting more income so you might be able to afford this new car but you could also be moving home so you're moving upwards and onwards and you have victory and recognition then we go to Monday and you've got the magician wow a new beginning well if you've got recognition like I said it could be a promotion or you could be moving home that is definitely a new beginning the magician is number one and it, the magician also represents Gemini and Aries so there might be a Gemini or an Aries involved or they might give you recognition or recognize you how wonderful you are so you might even start a partnership or in business or in love you've got all the elements within you and around you to make something happen that you are wishing for or that you are wanting you might be getting married so you might even propose so you might propose that could be your new beginning or moving in together okay as you have on Wednesday you might get a proposal or you will or you might propose but this is also I'll get to that the how card for the house but you might be 
uh, starting a, a new family, a new relationship, uh, a next level up from being engaged or going out, you might be moving in and getting married. Wow. Or you might get a, a marriage uh, uh, invitation. You might get an invitation to wedding. The Four of Wands also represents the house. Now, the four corners of the house, and you can see the house or the castle in the background. So that goes quite well with the ones, the six of ones. Like I said, you might be moving home here. Well, here you might have bought the home on Wednesday. Or you might get a marriage proposal. Or you might be going to a wedding. But not everybody is getting married. Um, they usually <laughs> first live together. So if that doesn't resonate with you, you might... Um, be celebrating something else perhaps your victory and that you've got this job this new beginning or new relationship I think you could be celebrating that as well wonderful energy really beautiful energy it's a really positive reading so far <laughs> now we've got also the wheel of fortune what goes round comes round what goes up must come down life is always up and down sometimes it stays up a little bit longer or stays down a little bit longer but if the energy is changing and we're get, we're out of the retro mercury retrograde on the 12th so now it should be moving upwards there is an ending to something yes and there is a new beginning like here and here and it might be something might be moving up to the next level like promotion or relationship like I've also said this all card also means moving home or going on holiday the wheel for traveling okay now this is also my karma card so when what goes around comes around what goes up must come down like I said so if you've done good or bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done you good or done you wrong they'll get their karma threefold if not tenfold okay so that is a beautiful card in the positive sense and in the negative sense you will get what you deserve and there is a saying in Holland if you dish something out you will be at the receiving end I love I love it when things come together. The last card at the weekend, you might have competition. Like I said, if you've got your own uh, a business, you might have um, a competition uh, with other shops that are selling the same things as you. So, but I think you're sharp because you know how to sell something. You know how to put it out there and you've got no worries because you've got so many positive cards okay but you're not scared of a bit of competition especially the um, the, the female uh, Pisces that I've known in my life they are absolutely fantastic business women they really really are they're sharp and look at these five uh, ants, monsters, <laughs> with those horns on their head, they are very sharp, and that is what is, I just uh, that is what just came into my head just now. The sharpness, the preciseness, the punctuality as well. That's what I'm hearing. And you will go lengths, and I just see you swimming lengths. All right, you go for what you want, and you'll get there. You've got victory. Now even in work it doesn't have to be in your own business but we've got the bunch of flowers from the linamon and that means that somebody might be coming back and giving you a gift luck is on your side this is a very lucky card and the magician is luck and you've got victory so yes luck is paying you off you don't have to worry about the competition because it is surrounded by positive cards and you can't get a more positive card than the sun there you are again moving home you could be moving your business expanding your business in this time right now 
Although this is the Ace of Pentacles, that means a new beginning, uh, uh, confirming again a new beginning. Here you have the Queen of Swords, of Spades. So you might be uh, meeting a Gemini, like I said in the beginning, or an Aries. Well, you do have two, uh, three Wands cards, so Aries could be prominent, um, but um, now I'm thinking of the Chariot. This is the Six of Wands, which is looks a bit like the Chariot. That is Cancer. But the Chariot isn't here. So you've got the Queen of Swords. She might give you a present or a bunch of flowers or giving you a helping hand. She does uh, defend you if she needs to um, through thick and thin. But the sun means there might be a birth. This could be of a child or a project. So you might bring more business in to your own business or you might get a new job you might get a promotion you might take your relationship up to the next level which is also a new birth a new beginning it's very fertile ground okay anything is possible if you plant seeds now you they're going to uh, blossom because the Sun will give them warmth to grow and sprout so in the near future you will have positive results again the Sun is a spotlight so you are in the spotlight and that is true somebody might have an eye on you this could be a potential boss as well and he could offer you a pay rise um, he could offer you a promotion you've got the ace of Pentacles which means a new beginning with durability and for long term so perhaps your contract might be um, uh, we've got two types of contract in here. We've got in Holland, we've got flex or part-time contract with a temporary uh, term, but uh, we also have a permanent contract. So you might be offered a permanent contract going up to the next level. Look at that. You have victory. Perhaps this is what you've been applying for and fighting for and you didn't mind the competition. Then we have the child. The child means again like the sun, uh, a birth. And you've got the jack of ones. So you will be receiving news, okay? You will be receiving news and it is going to be good news about something new or perhaps um, finding out that you're pregnant. And if you have been wanting to get pregnant, then this is a very fertile week. If things are really really positive for you Pisces but let your inner child come out be more playful the innocence of a child okay you might be learning something new you might have to start an apprenticeship or do the extra workshop or course um, if you want to get promoted there could be an if if there is a something with a job or a promotion don't worry you will be working perhaps part-time and learning uh, uh, one day a week or might be learning a side a job to get that promotion and recognition now the last card is <coughs> like you've got positive cards moving upwards and celebrations so you will get this diploma if you have to learn don't worry be a little bit more like a man steadfastness keep your emotions under control okay you've got the ace of uh, hearts here so you could meet a man a new man if you aren't hooked up but you could also meet the man of your uh, if you are hooked up you could even like I said um, you've met the man that is your soulmate and you might be getting married he might be proposing to you because he's lying above the marriage card and it could be also a woman that is going to propose to a man or an other lady but 
it is a woman that ha is quite ha the masculine side of her will come out because you have to be strong and gutsy uh, to propose i know it's always an exciting and a nervous wrecking um a moment um to do this will they say yes or will they say no will they say yes or will they say no well i think they're going to say yes but you have to be steadfast in your shoes you have to be as strong as a man and you have to be determined like a man but this man has got the bare chest and he's got nothing to hide he's not scared of anything he is like the lion strong calm smooth and collect because of the ace of hearts a new love could be new love or a new level of love okay now we've got the queen of swords and we've got the page of swords so remember air is quite prominent but we've got two aces so and new beginnings the magician as well the queen of uh, swords is libra but we've got the magician here as well so don't exclude gemini or aquarian okay because it's the ace it's not a person well it's a person card but don't exclude him okay and here we have the star and it's funny the star represents Aquarius so you've got the three uh, air signs here you've got the Queen which is Libra but don't exclude the other two you've got the Gemini uh, or the um, Aries that is a fire sign we've got fire here and then we've got the star that means that your wish is going to come true this week or your goal and it could be with an aquarium or any three of the air signs the, the air signs are quite significant so that co that man uh, that um, confirms all the positive energy your wish is coming true then we have a healing card because we've got green from Archangel Michael forgiveness to err is human to forgive is divine Archangel Michael understands your past present emotional pain forgive yourself and others it will bring you freedom and serenity there you go I say forgive and forget but usually we can't forget but we have to learn from our past and if somebody has done you wrong let it go and move on otherwise you cannot make room to let the new and beautiful in ask your angels for help that's the angel answer or answer of the angels ask them and ask the universe if you don't believe in angels then ask the universe or the divine energy to help you to let go and of course meditate and contemplate sit quietly and let it go send it out into the universe this will bring you back to your center and into your peace you hold the world in your hand you hold your life in your hands look at the hand on that wheel of fortune I just saw it you're the one that makes the decisions and the choices to stand you in your make you stand in your own strength Wow this is a gorgeous reading I hope you have a wonderful week and I hope you're going to have big celebrations let me know which what celebrations you are going to have are you celebrating because you can finally go on holiday have you are you going to celebrate because you finally moving home or you've got the home that you have longed for or the man well it's quite a blockbuster this reading so enjoy and remember you make the decisions and you are always in my healing sessions and my prayers if you would like to receive healing or love or strength or help from the angels and the divine then set the intention just open your solar plex and your heart and say I accept 
let it come towards me. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please like and share the reading uh, or the video and I hope to see you in the life. Stay safe and be blessed. Thank you very much for your likes and shares. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.